Oh. Hmm. Inside. Right. Uh, okay. Well, we've got it apart. This is the uh, Prius transaxle. Let's see. Okay. So, <coughs> basically, I did study uh, some of the guy who did this, and they actually took it apart from the other end. So they started from the uh, the underside with it the other way up and uh, dismantled it from that way, which I thought, you know, I've seen it done, but, you know, the ones that I've seen was where it's this way up, and I think it's better. So, um, what we've got here, <coughs> you can see this uh, a donut type cavity there. As you can see, you can follow it all the way through that. That is the traction motor. It's the big, uh, it's a 30 kilowatt. I actually done some research and I found out it's actually 30 kilowatts. So that motor that's in there is 30 kilowatts, which would drive the car at motorway speeds. <coughs> okay, so this is the, um, well, it, it's part of the, oh no, it's in there, I can see it now. You can see inside there, uh, there, that bit there, that's the uh, planetary gears which are connected to what? What are they connected to? Well I guess they must be I'm going to have to find that out because it doesn't seem obvious to me. But hey, there's the other motor. This here inside there so it's like under that uh -huh. and if you go around the other side you can see that so inside there <coughs> go around this side it might be easier to visualize okay no it's not really but there you go <laughs> so it's like from there you know and there's the other side that inside there underneath there and that bit there that's the uh, motor generator you can just about make it out both sides there. I don't know maybe okay so that's the motor generator bit and that connects as far as I can tell and I have to still figure this out because different th different things different people say different things but the shaft from the, this is the the one that actually goes in the spline shaft which goes into okay let's just complete the picture this is a Prius engine down here a bit dark I know but that there it's out of the way so there's the uh, that's kind of what would be the clutch plate? I think it's just a flywheel, a sprung flywheel, basically. Okay, so that bit <coughs> fits onto there, which as far as I can tell, goes through, and that becomes the sun gear of the planetary, of the uh, epicyclic gearbox. Okay, so we've got that, and then the epicyclic bit there, the planetary gears, actually connect through to the uh, this motor here. Okay, and then the ring gear, right, is, I know it is, is connected to this, which is the, uh, the final drive, uh, through from the motor. Okay, so the ring gear, the outside gear, is connected to the big motor, the 30 kilowatt one, so that's connected there together, so the, the, the motor and the ring gear of that final drive chain there, they're all part of the same um, set so motor turns for turns final drive and it doesn't need anything else there <coughs> so what I can do now is actually remove I'm going to take this apart because I really want to remove that shaft there and the planet gears because I don't actually need those either okay and take those out of the equation make sure things are still bearing up properly okay which I don't know but we'll have to find out right and then that means that is then my drive system so we've got it's basically this is the uh, the chain drive. I me on light, yeah. So that's the chain drive from the planet system, from the epicyclic gearbox, through to a uh, yeah, it's a one to one ratio there, which then is part of this stub axle. I don't know why they use a separate one, but hey ho, right? Which then is on the same shaft as that. Okay, so that is a drive through to the this which is the uh, diff basically that connects up and becomes part of the diff you see the bits there that's the other bit so you can see the diff housing is inside there behind that gear 
Actually, there's another gear there, isn't there? What am I missing? Because I'm missing something. We've got a, we've got a gear here, haven't we? <coughs> and we've got two gears there. So what's going on? What's missing? Why am I not seeing everything? Um, that's interesting, that. Ah, ah, I see what's wrong here. I've got the wrong picture here. No, this is a reduction gear here, right? And that gear underneath there, right down there, connects to the outside of that. So this is just a reduction gear, you see. I don't know why they did that. I mean, why don't they just put the chain... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Or maybe it's because they had to have that low so they needed to bring it up high to... No, it doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure they could have fashioned that better. And in fact, in the newer ones, they have. They've got a gear connecting directly. They've got... They could... Of course they could. <coughs> yeah, what... What the hell's going on? Look, right, okay, so that's a ring gear, right? That's round the outside of the, <laughs> of the diff. Okay. And they could connect that and just put a... A pinion on there, connect it directly, couldn't they? If they make that smaller, make this bigger, they've got the drive ratio. I, I, no, I don't, it doesn't make sense. What they've done there, they've, they've, they've done all that just to get a reduction ratio of what looks like about 2 to 1. Yeah? When they could have made that smaller and get the same rate, which is what they've done. Okay, in the newer versions, they've taken the gear there and actually meshed it directly to that. Which makes far more sense to me. So, I don't know which student designed this. <laughs> With a chain. What's going on, eh? What's, what's all that all about? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I understand the chain drive there. Because they have to make it go around the outside of the motor. So they have to have, a bit, they have, to have the gear housing there and another one there. You know, I, I can understand why they've done that. But it, it, it would make far more sense to just simply mesh the final drive gear onto that shaft. They've got the space to do it and everything. And of course in the newer versions they have. Doesn't make sense to me, I'm sorry. Hey up. So that that that's the uh, stub axle there. Okay. So we've got the that that's the uh, C V joint and it's just it's just fallen out, that's all. Just dropped down onto the wood. Um yeah so yeah so so long as I can uh, do, you know, put all this back together obviously and then remove the planet gears and the sun shaft, as if it were, from that, then that's it, we're done. Put it back together and we've got our final drive. Fill it back up with oil and coolant. Uh, that motor there is going to come off. This one behind here, we're going to remove that. <coughs> so that's the next task. And then what we'll do, as you can see, it's, I think it's mounted on its own bearings, which is good. But I don't know about the casing, because obviously the this is part of the casing of that motor, so I don't know how I'm going to mount that. But that basically is the beast. That one there is the one that's going to go onto that Fiat engine over there. I'm going to use that as a generator. That's it. So there you go. And so you can see the mating surfaces there. Okay, somebody's busy doing something over there. Right, so there we go, we're getting there, aren't we? You know. <laughs>